वॉचिंग डॉक्टर नशीन अफजान यूट्यूब उम्मीद करती हूँ कि आप हमेशा की तरह बखैर आफियत और खुश होंगे इस वीडियो को देखने के लिए आपकी बेहद मशहूर हूँ और मजीद वीडियोस देखने के लिए मेरे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को भी प्रेस कर दें सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन। हमारा आज का टॉपिक है हाउ टू राइट डाउन रिसर्च प्रपोजल एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट इट इज अग हर्ड फॉर ऑल ऑफ द रिसर्चर्स इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ देयर कैरियर टू राइट डाउन द रिसर्च प्रपोजल बिकॉज दे आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद रिसर्च प्रपोजल or how to write down a good research proposal so in this topic we will see that what is the research proposal and then we will focus on the structure of the research proposal and its main contents and finally how to write down all these details on the paper so first of all Let's talk about what is a good research proposal. As all the researchers have to write down their research idea onto the paper in the form of a short, descriptive, and concise pattern, and that format is called as research proposal because it is not. possible to just start the research work without thinking about the research topic research title and to put the ideas onto the paper so in this way the proposal or the short summary or the research idea would be helpful to align your ideas or innovations or thinkings into a specific and systematic way so now let's talk about the structure of the research proposal first of all how long should a research proposal be okay so for to write down the research proposal one must have the research title and how you get get it so to come across the research title or for its selection you must read almost 20 to 30 research articles or as much as possible or according to your own interest so after reading the research articles and that should it be before 5 or 6 years that must be within the past 3 or 5 years so that means your research title would be based on the latest research work so after selection of the research title you come towards the research proposal and then let's concise and a brief structure of the research proposal to write down the structure we have to write down all these steps there are first of all abstract then introduction then literature review research protocol or methodology then proposed results and conclusion so now we see every one of these components one by one so let's see how to write down the abstract this abstract is basically your whole idea this must be based on 3 to 4 sentences where first sentence would highlight the importance of your research title then the second sentence would give a brief 
short summary of the previously conducted research work. That what is already been done. And in the third step, you will write down about the research gap or the research problem. That means what is already done and what is the basic problem that you are going to discover, you are going to fulfill that gap or that shortcomings in your research work. And in the fourth sentence, you will talk about your supposed results or just its applications. That if you would quite get it, then how it would be helpful for the community. So now, just come towards the introduction. For the introduction part, you will introduce your research topic or your title. And for this reason, you will also enlist all the background work or the research work that has already been done by the other research groups. And then move towards the research gap or the problem that is, for example, in the previously published work, there is a problem that they are not biocompatible. So, you have to design those materials that are biocompatible or that have much less toxicity. So in this way, you have to fulfill or enlist these issues. And then you will structure your research protocol in this way, how to make these new materials and to make them biocompatible for the novel applications. part there is another subheading that is background significance. In this topic or in this subheading you will also enlist all the previously conducted work with its importance. No doubt that already published work has some applications. So along with its applications or applicability you have to report all these novelties and uh, it must be not more than two to three pages introduction and background significance and then the next two pages would be based on the literature review that is also based on the previously conducted research work that is coincide with your work if, for example, you are talking about the cancerous, anti-cancer materials, then you will write down the literature review about the already published material on the anti-cancer materials, not about the antidactic materials. So this would be not aligned in line. And in introduction, you will not only give the only background significance, but you will also introduce your title, then come towards the background significance, then come towards the research gap in detail, and then you will introduce how you will cover or overlap that research gap along with your research idea. And in this way, you will strengthen or you will support the already published work along, along with your research work. You, will, you cannot just cross all the previously published work. You may challenge it and you have to strengthen that. That is a key of the good research proposal. And after that, just come towards the research protocol or methodology. In this portion or in this heading, 
whatever you want to design, you have to framework the strategy, how you will perform that synthetic procedure. And step by step, first of all, you will get the materials from where you will collect or you will purchase the chemicals and then you will uh, give, you will write down the correct protocol suggesting the correct optimum concentrations, temperatures, conditions, that means temperature, pressure or any other synthetic strategies. And then first you have synthesized these materials, then you would write about their characterization using which type of instrument you have characterized those materials or if you have undergone some uh, paid characterization techniques then you have to record from where you have acknowledged or you have availed all those characterization techniques and it's better to, to record the model of the instrument as well along with its institution from where you have availed all the services and after that you will talk about the supposed results here you may focus on the supposed results not, not only the results but supposed results that means what are you expecting for your synthetic materials and what is your expectations about the applications of those materials so just half page would be enough for this heading and just after this was results we will turn towards the conclusion and it would summarize all these portions into a concise paragraph and the paragraph may consist of three to five sentences and it is enough so in this way you can write a write down a good and brief research proposal. So thank you very much for watching the video and please subscribe the channel to watch more videos and also press the bell icon. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.